love that. I mix the blueberry pie. It's not what I wear, it's how I rock that. If I can buy that twice, I'll cut that. Sweet one, ten, ten, spot that, chop that. Tell her lock me at the teller, it's not that. Oh, do the he say, she say, getting no delay. Run it like B-Lay, bro, you ain't going like this. In my phone, you see straight, big fur jacket from eBay. Looking timeless. I love pay, I got it like my skin fade, marinate. We got to toss up, say It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we are at Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. Today, we've got a solid matchup in store in the NFC, as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Chicago Bears. Here's the punter, Trenton Gill, now to do the honors, and off we go here at Soldier Field. Boston Scott on the return from his in. And oh, that is going to be a safety. Well, we thought these two defenses, they might come to play. One has already come to play here, a safety for the opening points of the game. Brandon, let's pile this play away because if it turns out to be a tight game, who knows? This could wind up being the difference. Jones on the return. Fields and the Bears now with a first and ten at their own 18. They'll run it here. This is Deontay Foreman. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up. There he goes, left side. Down the left sideline. He may go. Darnell Mooney, touchdown. Chicago. Darnell Mooney, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Bears are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Had the option to hand that one off or run it himself, but instead, a really easy quick pass. I like the way they made a decisive decision and got it right to the receiver. One move later, he's in the end zone. Cairo Santos on to try the extra point. And this is good as they extend it out now to a 9-0 lead. Well, after the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. But no run back here. Fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. at the line this Philly offense set to go they trail now nine nothing the opening safety followed by the touchdown a moment ago so an early hole to dig out on as the drive starts first and ten and showcasing those strong legs on that run getting through one tackle now she winds up getting eight there eight yards on the pickup brings up second and two hey easy 63 63 back call up Yeti. Right back to Swift again on second down. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Here is third down and four. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. 
in search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Here's Hurts to throw. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. That is brought down short. Two yards there, needed four. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. They'll try it now with Swift. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. King, Bill King, Bill King. Hurt sets up to throw it. He's going deep for Brown. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Almost feels like anything you can do, we're going to try and match or do better. We've already seen one touchdown pass from the opposition. They tried to equal it on that throw. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Swift going to try up the middle. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. 63, Play action. Here's Hurts. They'll roll him out right. Now he's going to throw deep right side. Oh, he had a man open. He overshot him. It's incomplete. Looked like they were set up defensively in a zero coverage, but somehow they found a seam because that receiver by right that should have been a touchdown but somehow this ball's overthrown they're going on fourth down with hurts eluding the pressure right boy a curious decision to go for it doesn't pan out and it'll be a turnover on downs they run it on first with foreman and he's got it to about the 40. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. They'll wind up getting four down to the 36. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Here's Fields. Oh, and that is incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. On fourth down, Fields. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Bears tried it on fourth down, unable to convert. And the Eagles' defense able to hold. No, no, the no. Eagles' offense set to begin their next drive. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. And he maneuvers up the middle for three, and it's second down. He's brought down at the 39-yard line. Once again, it's Swift. 
And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. After one, it's 9-0. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a third down coming up. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, here comes Swift. And he'll get this across the 40 and up to about the 42-yard line. The offense going to stay out there. They've converted once, failed once. What can they do here on fourth down? Try and throw for it here. Dance into his left. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. I can't be sure how much of that was planned pre-snap, but it certainly opens up some avenues for their offense. And if he can stay a threat to break off those kind of runs, it'll pull defenders away from coverage and open up some choice throwing lanes for him moving forward. From the 42 yard line, here's the second and five. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. They'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 27 yard line. They run out of the gun with Swift. He's able to get six. A nice pickup down to the 21. Here now, second and four. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four. Now Hurts changing up the play. On second down and four. Hurts. This will be caught by Brown. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Hey, 73, 73. Round up, get it. Here's Swift. And he stopped immediately there. 158 left to play till we hit halftime. Nope, Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight yard line, second and goal. Throwing his hurts. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. Rolling to his left. And he'll just throw this one over in the way of the security crew. Incomplete here. Well, so a drive that spans all that time, and yet you may only come away with three points here. Well, your defense, all right, they actually like these long drives. They get to rest over on the sidelines for a while. But when you're not finishing with points in terms of touchdowns, that's frustrating. They've got to figure out how to close out these long drives and get sixes instead of threes. So that kick gives them their first points of the game, CD. And it comes on the third drive, but hopefully for them that's a spark that gets that offense going. Yeah, and I would say if you're the offensive play caller, as you look at your sheet, you're trying to find that part on there that unlocks bigger points. They've struggled with a few drives so far, finally got three out of it. How do you find the end zone? That's what he's searching for now. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone.
The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Now they're coming off a fourth down gamble that last drive that backfired CD, but really not as badly as it could. Their defense held up and only gave up three points. And what they want to do is play off the momentum the defense gave them, only giving up the three points in that situation after they failed on fourth down. Now they want to make it pay off. They want to pay homage to the defense and have their own drive pay off in points for themselves. Foreman's going to get it again on second down. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Tough spot here, third down and 11. Fields. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. That one goes for 30 yards. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Yeah, offenses always try to be smart about when they're trying to dial up a screen to the running back because they understand you can only go to the well so many times in a game without the defense starting to anticipate the call. Here we go. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Back to throw. Fields. Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Reed Blankenship. Down to the 10. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles' defense gets a pick six TD. An excellent play there, CD, on the pick six. And I, I think they, were they a nickel? Did they have an extra DB out there? Yeah, Brandon, I think they were in standard nickel, not the uh, Buffalo, as teams like to call it, meaning three safeties for big nickel. They just wanted to take away the quarterback's throwing lanes, and that's exactly what they did and came through with a big-time pick six. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. And that one will give them the lead here as we approach halftime. Makes the score Eagles 10, Bears 9. Jake Elliott to kick off for Philadelphia. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Here we go, Scott. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now the Bears are going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. To throw his fields. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byer. And the Eagles are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. Well, Charles, you know, so close to halftime there. You throw the interception. Not only that, 
you do give it to them in plus territory as well. Yeah, they were pushing real hard to try and get something more on the board on their side of the ledger right before the half. Looking at it with 20-20 hindsight, though, might have been better to hand it off a few times, hoping to get something to break instead of putting the ball in the air and, of course, putting the ball in jeopardy. Here's Jake Elliott, career long, by the way, for him, 61 yards. And this will be spotted on the other side of the field. It's a 61-yard attempt. That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short. No good. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Bears going to see the football first, and they trail here as we get back underway to start this second half. And no run back here as the third quarter will commence with a touchback. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think go. that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. Foreman's going to get it again on second down. Give him six yards on the carry. It's going to be third and three now. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Fields on third down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. On first and ten, it's Herbert looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Third quarter now in a one-point game as they line up second and ten. Now it's Fields. Escaping the pressure right. That is caught by Herbert. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. A huge play there for Chicago. 41 yards. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Herbert powering up the middle. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. The tackle that time by Zach Cunningham. I think what we just saw their partner was linebacking speed 
that can trump O-line power. We see that at times because he filled the gap before the offensive lineman could get to the next level and take him on. Here's Fields. They'll set up the screen for Herbert. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. Well, they certainly have their share of troubles running the football in this one, but this play is almost an extension of the running game right here. They set up the screen, let him work out in space on the perimeter, and he turns it into a big pickup. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games, and and we're seeing a pretty good one right now, hotly contested in the third quarter. Second down, they go back to Herbert. And he takes this one in for a touchdown. Khalil Herbert, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Bears have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Sometimes you get a first and goal and you're back near the seven, eight, nine yard line and you start thinking, maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need so maybe we can have two or three shots at going for it from closer range. So this is a bonus right here. What a great run to work his way into the end zone. Santos able to tack on the extra point and that'll make this a six point game. the touchdown. Here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result, and he opted for the touchback. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. And now off to the races, down the right side. Look at the big man rumble. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Dallas Goddard. 70 yards, and the Eagles have even the ball game with a chance to take the lead here in the final minute of this third quarter. When they drew that up, I don't think they envisioned it ending in a house call, but he got it and took it all the way home. Really impressive run after the catch, wasn't it? That was, a, that was really special by him. But let's face it, in today's NFL, those tight ends are often former wide receivers or maybe even sometimes bigger running backs. They just put them in a position to get a great matchup and make plays like that. Elliott good on the extra point, and that will put them on top here in the third. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. Here we go, Scott. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. They had gotten the lead with the opening drive touchdown in the third quarter. Now they relinquish that lead back. Could be in for an interesting second half. It certainly appears that way, doesn't it? Almost turning into one of those pendulum games, right? Where it swings back and forth. And who's going to make the play that changes that? That maybe it puts it on one side and keeps it there. Here we go. Another carry for Herbert on second down. And he'll be taken down after a decent gain, and that will bring us to the end of this third quarter of play. Here we go, 
The Bears on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. Here it's third and three. Fields now to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Foreman powering ahead. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back, those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. Looking to throw on second down, Fields. To the right side, and he's got more complete. And he has another first down as they get the ball down to the Eagles' 40. Really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Here we go, Scott. From the 38 now, here comes second and eight. Tonight. Now Fields. This one complete to Tunyon underneath. He'll get it inside the 20. And finally taken down at the 15. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, right? just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. Here's a give to Herbert. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. They come up now on second and two. They'll go again with Herbert. And he is in. Touchdown from Chicago. Kareem Herbert, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bears answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. We get set for a big two-point conversion. And this one's caught. And their fourth quarter lead grows by a couple more. So they like to pass there on the two-point try. Sometimes can prove risky there and work down. Yeah, and I love how you bring up that it can prove risky because if you get it intercepted and they return it, that's two points for the defense, but not on that play. the touchdown. Here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line.
They'll come up first and ten here. He's back to throw. Flushed out right. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Some coaches like to take the shorter, more reliable yardage, and some, they like to go for the big shot. No fear of risking a deep ball there, but wasn't enough to get him the completion. Here's second down. He'll look to throw. Forced out to his left. One thing that makes him so tough in these two-minute drills, you got to take into consideration he's mobile. And that's a big plus for him, but he also has to be careful with that mobility. Sometimes getting rid of the ball and stopping the clock is more important than running around and maybe taking a sack. Back to throw. He'll buy some time right. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Plenty of time and two timeouts still at their disposal. First and ten here. Back to throw. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Johnson. And it's a huge return as he brings us all the way back down to the 15-yard line. But when I looked at it, he was kind of shaking his head right after he threw that pass. So what did you see? Well, from a defense's perspective, anytime you have your eyes back towards the quarterback, you're in a position to make a play on the ball, whether it's a big-time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback. You have a much better opportunity. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. And that kind of run on first down, that's a winning type of a run. That just sets things up for them moving forward as they begin the drive. 